Oh god! Whoa. Guys, <laughs> yikes! Oh my god! Hey, Jamie, Larissa, are you guys okay? Is everyone okay? Is everyone okay? Is everyone all right? I'm in- oh, I'm our in- guest Larissa is still here with us, oh, me and Jamie, at Hot Minute. I'm I Jamie. I'm, I'm Ashley. Yeah, I think I think I'm still Jamie. Goodness I think I'm gracious. still Ashley. This is still Hot Minute, supposedly, and uh, I guess this is part two of our very special yeah. science fiction. We're talking about science fiction hotties. We had an amazing episode last week. Got caught we, in a time warp. I don't know what happened. As you Just fucking do. Lots of colors and pressing on my body. It was weird. I'm so glad I, I already paid my mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> Larissa. Larissa's back. Larissa so. Maestro is here. Let's yeah. jump into Let's it. Let's just jump right on in. Yeah, um, that's a great one. So last right. one of the last top one. ten. Damn. I mean, this could be a whole Which episode. is honestly like the infinity symbol. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the ne- the last one on the list is Star Trek The Next Generation, the Boom. entire cast. The entire Boom. cast. Boom. Yes. Pew, 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 so pew, for pew. those of you who don't know, Jamie and Ashley and I are all in a secret Facebook group <laughs> called Star Trek Lady. That's yes. true. <laughs> Where We've we had a handful of meetings <laughs> where we watch Star Trek and we the meetings ate, yeah. are like we watch Star Trek and eat pizza. Yeah, we ate some pizza. Yeah. Drink some beers, watch yeah. some Star Trek. Because in my opinion, Star Trek The Next Generation is the best television show. It's so good. I, so, fun fact about me, guys. Um, <laughs> I bought a television set for my bedroom when I was a kid with money that I had saved from like every birthday, Aww. every Christmas, every like Arbor Day $5 you from great, great grandmas. I bought a, yeah, and I watched uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. It came on PBS at 9 o'clock, but my bedtime was at 9 o'clock. So, like, what was I supposed to do? And that's when I learned, it's like, if I just turn it down really low, but turn on closed captions, I can stay up late and just read Picard. And that's what I did all through, like, elementary and junior high. And I mean... Jean Luc Picard. <clears throat> Jean Luc Picard. I can't you know, even rank. I'm mean, honestly at the time though, like Picard was too much for me. He was too. I old. was a child. Yeah. And there's. And, yes. he, was, and he was too he was old. Not, it's, yeah. Like for all we knew, Patrick yeah. Stewart was literally eighty-seven. Seventy-two yeah. years yeah. old. I thought yeah. he was my fucking grandpa. Um, yeah, I exactly. did think Jonathan Frakes was cute. Yes. I thought Frakes was cute. I had a crush on Data, and oh. I had a crush on Q. I had a crush on Lore. <laughs> That sets a template. Oh, I'm so excited about the game now. So, okay. so yeah, yeah. So, Lore, uh, Eugene, what's his name? What's the actor's Webby, name? No. no. <laughs> anyway. Brent Spiner. No, Brent Spiner's from Texas. Yes. Um, <laughs> Texas. Uh, Texas. So, that Texas. famous song actually singing about Texas. Um, that Beyonce song. But yes. the, the guy that played Q... Um, John Delancey. John Delancey, yes. thank you. Not you, Eugene John Johnston. De, John Delancey, more like John Delightful. <laughs> but uh, I worked Eileen, like, Eileen, what's her name, Warnos. that played Calliope um, <laughs> on Days of Our Lives was mm. his girlfriend on Star Trek. What's her name? I just, There's crossover, you're, guys. While you're, looking that so up, cro- while you're looking that up, uh, last in our last episode, Jamie was talking about sexy children and... <laughs> I feel like Marissa, speaking of sexy children and John Star Delancey Trek. was Eugene on Days of Our Lives. I'm okay. not crazy. Oh, oh, okay. oh, you're talking about Days of Our Lives. Okay. I got confused. The woman who played his sidekick, <laughs> Calliope, on Days of Our Lives, he played a very mercurial, Q-like character on Days of Our Lives. <laughs> was this in the oh, 90s? Yeah. Yes, in okay. the 90s. Calliope then went on to be the voice actress for Harley Quinn in the Batman. So oh, why do I fucking know this? That's I can't great. remember. That's anyone. So she was Mark Hamill's girlfriend. Yes, <laughs> who's in fantasy trash Star Wars? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Just kidding, just Sorry, kidding. guys. We love, it. we love. We'll do a fantasy episode. Yeah. 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 Wesley Crusher. Speaking of like oh, sexy children, I, had, I didn't like Wesley at all, even when I was like a kid. I, I did. I did. I, didn't. I did. I thought he was cute. More, more than that, though, as far as kids on the show go. And I have her in the game, but I'm just going to talk about her right now. Uh, do you guys remember that Ashley Judd was yes. on two episodes yes, of Star Trek: I do. The Next Generation I actually as do. Ensign Robin Leffler? I did not mm. know her name, but yes, I 100 percent remember. I she thought was you on were going to talk about Worf's son. Oh no, oh, he's- Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander, <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> He's the worst. I he was can't. played by uh, Brian. What's his name from Days? Uh, not Days of Our Lives. Uh, no. Family Ties. And he d- just died recently. No, right? he didn't. What? He, was, he went to jail a lot. Hold Somebody, on. Somebody. One of the one of the actors that played Alexander just died. <gasps> Honestly, it was probably my. I know this because my Brian mom was Bonsall. like, "Did you hear that?" Brian Bonsall's still alive. Died. He's just been to jail oh. a lot for selling meth. 
um, yeah. Brian. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Oh, maybe it was like more adult DS9 Alexander. Might have been. Died. Yeah. The other thing about the next generation is Jordy LaForge and, and uh, just generally, um, <sighs> what's his face? Also, and that we could watch Jordy LaForge and then watch Reading Rainbow simultaneously. That was like such a mind fuck for me. I, I was a little confused. Same, they, he was doing was, them both at the same yes. time. He's oh. in my he's in my soul. Oh yeah. He's forever imprinted on my psyche. Oh yeah. So I mean, there was a community episode about this. It, there is. <laughs> yeah. there, there is. Literally is. So who I want to talk about and who made the biggest impression on me. And I feel like, you know, Larissa wrote a whole article about really racial uh, how would you even say it? Like racial not harmony, but just themes yeah. in the alien races like identity yeah and... racial identity so the i mean the piece was really about that's i oh, sound so fancy. the piece the piece, the, piece. Yeah. the the thing i wrote was about <laughs> examples of mixed race characters on star trek and how they were portrayed yeah and how there were how i realized there were a lot of them that were portrayed kind of negatively yes and i was like so like the tragic mulatto people, sort of trope well, and exactly. figure out. to tell people who are listening Larissa yes. is, is. I'm half yes. Filipino. Yes. My mother's from the Philippines. She's an immigrant. I'm a first generation American on mm-hmm. her side. And my dad looks like Santa Claus. <laughs> like John Wilkes. <Williams. laughs> I met your dad. Yes, met yeah. your dad backstage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he's adorable. Yeah. But he's real white. <laughs> and so, star, so we've had conversations about this before. It's like Star Trek imprinted on you in this really interesting way because you saw these parallels to experiences you were having. Everyone in this group feels mm-hmm. that way. I specifically, growing up, had this really weird... This is not nearly as cute or touching, but I, growing up, had brown hair, and, like, my sister had blonde hair, Barbie had blonde hair, like, all these, like, blonde, sort of big titty girls. Well, it was just, like, yeah. 90s. Yeah, the 90s, yeah. and I was kind of, like, this nerdy... There were so many blondes in the 90s, yeah. Yeah, and it was, it was just, like, it was tan, blonde, you know, whatever. Baywatch was coming out. Yeah. And Marina Sirtis, uh. Deanna Troy... I was like, oh, like, I remember being a really little girl. I stole the Deanna Troy action figure from my brother because he had all the action figures. And I stole the Deanna Troy one. I still have it in, like, my high school bedroom because I was like, she is, like, the best character. I was like, she's psychic and she cares about people and she's pretty and she's smart and she has brown hair. And I just remember being like. beautiful brown hair. It was totally fake. Yeah, it was (laughs) totally, like, it was very. I mean, they had to sew something. Yeah, Yeah, it was big. so much But she meant a lot to me as a kid because I was like, okay, there's like a model on TV that isn't Pamela Anderson Mm -hmm. who was like around at the same time. Yes. I mean, that made me feel bad about myself. Half Betazoid. Yes, exactly. So she was also like, she also had to deal with like, reconciling two cultures yes and she had a really crazy mother my mom's a little a lot yeah <laughs> no. sorry Ma, sorry Nana, if you're listening. i love you so much yeah but she, yeah she was just this very dynamic in west and well well i mean there's so beverly. there's uh, beverly Tasha. i know i know there were so many amazing <gasps> women Tasha, i forgot about Tasha women Mar. on the show i didn't forget but i will say so i made it i made a game i made a bunch of uh Pairs of people, okay. so we can play. What did we decide it was called? Uh, we're gonna call it. I don't know. <laughs> what were we gonna <laughs> Fuck or jettison? <laughs> yeah, which is trashy. it was like. Who would you rather in zero gravity? In zero gravity. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm gonna read some, and some of them are. I I I slipped in some DS9. I slipped in some. I'm Voyager. gonna. F- I'm I'm feeling like I'm gonna be <clears throat> really showing my ignorance here. So. No, but no. I'll, I'm gonna start with. TNG classic, just real okay. TNG. Okay. Uh, and the first one I want, uh, the first one I'm going to put gonna out be. there is, <laughs> who would you rather in Zero Gravity, Guinan <gasps> Ooh. or Troy? Oh, ooh, that's hard. Oh, right? Okay. Guinan is uh, the... Guinan is Whoopi Goldberg's character. The bartender. I feel like yes. Guinan the bartender is more of a and like, long-term relationship, yeah. honestly, in a lot of ways. Oh, because I feel charm. like we... I mean, Tro- mm-hmm. look, Deanna Troy is Bang prettier, and, and she has, like, an intensity about her that's and very sexy. And she's empathic, so she and knows what you're... She knows what you want. But it's like Guinan, it's like... Guinan, at the end though. of the day, it's like day after day, month after month, year after year, when you're going to, like, spend your life I mean, with someone. Honestly, I don't know why I'm getting married to no, them. No, <laughs> this one's really hard. I actually might marry... I know we weren't asked to do this, but I might marry Deanna Troy and I might just just fuck. We're having a night in that bar. We're sitting out there drinking out of these little test tubes and I'm drinking mm-hmm. something blue. Mm-hmm. She's like, tell me about it. Tell yeah. me about your dumb night. And she's been alive for like, a who bit, knows how long. Yeah. See, Troy was more, it's like, I'm more like identified with Deanna than like, 
I yeah. guess, than like, than no, like I did, viewing. Yeah, I'm viewing I her too. more as myself than like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Gina, right. Right. Gina would turn turn you out. <laughs> <laughs> what is that bar there I'm not for? Even, I mean, I you know, know. <laughs> that's she's a really really good. She's one. got real alcohol behind that bar too. It's not all just synthol. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> that right. one was Earl really Grey difficult hot. for me too. Yeah, Earl Grey hot. Put a little whiskey in it. <laughs> Ugh. Mm-hmm. I mean, that one was really hard for me. I don't, I still don't know. You still don't know. I I mean, I both. I kind of, can we all together? Yes. Um, Okay, here's a really fun one. Okay. Um, Will Riker or Thomas Riker, the extra Riker that was created in a grand. (laughs) (laughs) In the episode Memory Alpha? I googled that. So they by tried. The way. They they like beam him up. This is before. Is this he's like on... the Stefan Urkel of Rikels of Rikers? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Little Rikel. Just remind no. me. Is he fly? <laughs> they he is basically Will Riker. So okay. what happens is they are there's like an emergency on a space station that he's on. They beam him up. There's a transporter accident, and he's beamed up, but also isn't beamed up. So there are two Rikers. And he's one wearing of them, yellow. That's yes, how you knew. Yes. One of them ends up spending like four years on this station mm-hmm. by himself. And when he gets back, he's still in love with Deanna Troy. Oh, well, that one. And he, <laughs> and 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 she's still best friends with Will. And he, they're like, it's this whole, oh, my God, it's amazing. I'm probably going to do the one that is not still in love with her after a long time because I like him, you know. I'm going to be with the one who was totally alone for four years because he'd fuck you real good. <laughs> it's like a prison. <laughs> Prisoner. Prisoner of his own mind. And he has a slightly different beard. Shape. I was going to say, I was going to say, think normally when they're like Honestly, alter egos and goatees involved, man. but yeah. in this oh, situation. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize Thomas. Yeah, Thomas has the full just for men. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go with Thomas too. Yeah. That's much better than a goatee. <laughs> and then he also comes back in DS9 and is like breaking the law and shit. So okay, he's a bad well boy. you didn't tell me that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, I like a. I mean, Dan kind of reminds me of. Okay, this well, is getting right a little, a little too deep. A little and, too deep. I mean, he plays the trombone for God's sake. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Thomas True. Riker was played by actor Jonathan Frakes, who also <laughs> portrayed Will Riker. No shit. Really? Really. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Next, Lieutenant Worf. Okay. Ooh, or right. Kalar, his baby mama. Ooh. I remember Hold on. her. His yeah. half Klingon, half human baby mama, who is played by Susie Plaxton and is gorgeous and also I wrote about her in my How do I spell Kalar? K apostrophe. <laughs> yes. I don't know. If you don't know how to spell it, it's got an apostrophe in it. I put K apostrophe E H L E Y R. Oh yeah, she's a babe. I always thought she was really a babe. She is a babe. I I want to say Worf because I because I want to say Michael Dorn because Michael Dorn I, is one fly. of my He's one so of my hot. most treasured personal items is this VHS tape of uh, Christmas sh- movies and shows that my mom recorded off the TV in like 1988 and there is a Don't Drink and Drive <gasps> ad that is Michael Dorn without like makeup on Ooh. and it's fascinating to me it's yeah. pretty much one of the only times I've ever seen him I like rem- not in yeah. full on facial prosthetics and he's like really he's handsome very his handsome. voice is the same he's so handsome yeah I remember seeing him like on like Entertainment Tonight or something and be like whoa <laughs> he also like was a judge for like Miss America or something yeah. like when I was in college and I was like what Michael Dorn what <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta watch Miss America Suddenly, well, now we're watching Miss the- America <laughs> uh, yeah uh, Kalar Fly um <laughs> I'll go ahead and say it. Her fo- her forehead goes back far. Oh, it look does. at this jumper. Mm-hmm. Ooh. You man, every actor on that show has body confidence that I envy <laughs> because their costumes left nothing to anything. Nothing. Um, nothing. <laughs> Yikes. Um, I'm gonna say I would say Kalar because Worf is too traditional for me. Like Worf is yeah. like if we have sex, we have to get married. Oh yeah. No. But he's also like. He's really got a good job. Kayla. <laughs> Kayla's like, nah, we yeah. ain't gotta we, we yeah. ain't gotta tell nobody. Yeah. Like they do it and then he's like, so we're getting married, and she's like, no. We yeah. are not. Yeah. Kayla is a babe. She is a babe, right. and it's really sad how she dies. Oh hey, hey. Everybody lives forever on this podcast. Mm-hmm. I know. All right, all right. Data or lore? <laughs> 
I mean, I'm going to say that's like the hardest one for me ever. Lore, 100%. (laughs) That's so hard. She wants the bad brother with the emotions. I do. I because mm-hmm. he's got I, he's still capable, but he has the emotions. Data Laura is, a, is trying, and Data will never stop trying. Laura, Laura is bad <laughs> to the end. <laughs> he's real bad. Here's the deal. Afterwards, I'm just gonna go down to Guinan's. I'm gonna run into Kalar. <laughs> But here's the thing. Okay, look. Okay, we never like normally get the. Okay, I've had like two beers. If like Data was eating you out and you just like insulted him the entire time, he would, like, just, keep going. He would just keep going. Guys, like, yeah, there is he, would, he, would he would not totally care. Not, he has no emotion. There he is, would not stop. To that, to that end, he would try so hard. To that end, there is a lot of erotic fan fiction about <laughs> so about much. the Michael Fassbender David character from the new Alien movies. The like, oh my god, the, I get. And, and literally every single oh one of God. them is what you just described where it's like <laughs> Charlie's there being like eat it you're a failure and he's like, he's like as you wish okay touch my butthole you <laughs> nerd this is what all women want I want to go touch my butthole <laughs> nerd God please move on oh my god okay moving on <laughs> moving on okay Q or the Borg Queen oof Q. Yeah, Q. Q. Delancey. Or, yeah, I mean, it, true. Q. Oh, I meant to say Q earlier. Did I say Q and or you did I say Lore? Lore? Shit, I meant Q. I knew because you said John, John Delancey. Delancey. Sorry, I meant Q, it's not okay. Lore. Um, I knew the difference in my head. Q is just like Q. delightful to me. I just Q love it, like a puckish villain. Q you know? episodes, like, I love Q a rogue. So puckish. Q I love, episodes you know, are the best I love episodes. a Rue. <laughs> it's true. The very first episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, yes. Encounter of Far Point, is just all Q. It's just Q, and he's great. Mm. Yeah. Love him. I know. And he's love him. bad. He's, he's a so naughty bad. boy. He's it's a different so plane of consciousness thing, like we yeah. were discussing earlier. Yeah. That kind of, you know, yeah. there's Sorry. layers. There's Cute. layers. Yeah, he just exists on a larger, you know, a larger. Surface Who am area. I to fence him in? And he's you know? powerful. Yes. He also brought the Borg into their lives. Though. I know, yeah. which is which is cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's just mm. loose culturally insensitive. <laughs> I know, so Why? culturally <laughs> because he doesn't care. I uh, also ugh. love, it's like, God, I love science. I love, it's the 24th century, but everything. It's like, here's a mid-50s mariachi costume. I love it. Yep, I don't know. Yep, here we go. Oh, God. Yeah. We didn't okay. even talk about, like, the holodeck. Anyway. This is gonna, <laughs> sorry. This is going to be a kill, fuck, Mary. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm and this down. is my top, th- my favorite Picard's girlfriends. Ooh. Kamala. Okay. Who is who is from the episode The Perfect Mate and she's played by Famke Jansen. <gasps> okay. Got her. Oh, and she's got the little yeah, dots yeah, yeah, on her yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Her and name. she is, she like imprints I herself her. on, I know she's, and their chemistry is so amazing. Okay. But she has to like marry someone else to like unify two warring worlds. <laughs> of course. I hate when that happens. Ugh. Yeah. Um, Famke Jansen is one of the most attractive women. She is so beautiful. Yeah. Jean Grey. Um, yeah. Jean Grey. And then, and then uh, they were in X Men together, which is oh, that's yeah, yeah of course, isn't that Gosh, cute? Yeah, so cute. Uh, number two, uh, Lieutenant Commander Nella Darren okay. from the episode Lessons. She is, she plays the piano and they play music together. Oh, I do remember that one. And it's so, and they're so cute. They like go yeah. into the Jeffries tubes and he's playing his little flute and she's got this like weird keyboard that rolls out. It's <laughs> and they like and like Car doesn't get to like play music with anyone ever and like he this is after that episode where he where was, he plays a flute where he learns how to play yeah. in time. his mind yeah 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 I'm thinking of Futurama oh, she's, pretty. Again. <laughs> no, she's really pretty remember, she's remember got this big like yeah floof she has hair. very like Blade Runner hair yeah she does um, yeah and she's like a super super smart scientist yeah and she, they break up pretty. because she, he can't put her in harm's way by putting her going like letting her go on away missions he's too Ugh. it's too upsetting for him not your choice Jean-Luc I know I know okay but, like it's too hard for him oh and uh Dr. Beverly Crush oh yeah yeah okay can I just say real quick that there's this one episode of Next Generation where God, they Beverly have Crusher. that like psychic connection yeah. you remember where they're stranded on that planet and they have like some kind of like thing put in the back of their heads like, and they can and, and hear plant, each other's yeah, yeah. thoughts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that episode is so sexy. God, I need to rewatch all this. 
Yes. I do it's too. Like they can like she like they're sitting around the fire, like and they're <sighs> like just chatting and Look she at goes, this contour. Oh my god, she's so she looks like Morgan Fairchild. God, she's beautiful. <gasps> she does look like Morgan astute Mm -hmm. yeah okay but they like are just having a conversation then she looks at him and she goes why didn't you ever tell me that you were in love with me Uh. oh Uh, okay okay so well beverly speeding it up all right getting to kill crusher because of her son Uh, (laughs) i'm going to fuck famka jensen Uh. and i'm gonna marry piano bitch (laughs) Uh, same (laughs) same same but totally different wait no No one told me terry hatcher was on the show oh Oh, yeah yeah yeah. yeah. wasn't she a uh yeah yeah she was a crew member yep oh it was when they when they had this very 80s like drug addict that's right i have i just want to i have a fashion moment i don't like any of the costumes until they get like the nehru collars yeah Yeah. i love the nehru collars Um, agreed yeah okay agreed 100 i'm with you i'm with you i also love the captain's like leisure jacket (sighs) okay guys all right well i so i want to say that i put all these names in the bag (laughs) these are all these are all my names Oh my all right. god. And I've already also put It says like, Larissa two, Maestro here. That's 200 rude. names in the other bag. <laughs> yeah. I can tell oh, they're yours. This is obvious. Okay, Janelle Monet from an emotion picture. Oh yeah, which I very recent. I mean, yes. I mean, I uh, Have I you seen I'll it? I'll cry again. Have you it's seen her it, Jamie? Long music video. Oh. It's like it's like all the videos from the album and it's like the it's a sci-fi story. I haven't it's seen it. It's a that. framing device for music videos, but in like a really what? like sweet way. It's mm-hmm. like, it's, it's another one about, I mean, it's just like the whole magnum opus of Janelle Monae's entire catalog. I yeah. see where it's going. I know what she's doing. I, wanna, I see like, her. About, I see her. I see her too. It's like about censorship and it's about like being able to like be free in your body. What's it called? An emotion The picture. emotion picture. E- um, yeah. Oh. So it. it's yeah. like the music video for like Make oh. Me Feel and Pink and all this stuff. But then it's like, it, it's a, and Tessa Thompson, obviously. Oh, is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yes. Oh, is it, Who's it's also a, just it's like. It's the one with the yes. vagina dresses in the yes. desert. Yes. That's the video that's, for Pink. Yes. Oh, yes. But it's in there. It is in there. It's a whole, because there's. It's like five music videos, like s- sewn together through the emotion picture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. I need to go home and watch it's, this. Tonight. It's wonderful and she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. I I would be her girlfriend. Yeah. I love her. Oh, I yeah. love her. Hal 9000 from 2001 <gasps> Space Odyssey. I was thinking of Hal when we started Honestly, this episode. Honestly, okay. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. <laughs> number one, he can sing. <laughs> number two, I mean, I'm pro Hal, I guess, in a lot of ways. He was just doing his job. I, go- I Googled Hall 90,000 and I was like, why is it not coming Who was up? It? But was it, uh, is it Kira Dulla? Who yes, is the guy? Kira Dulla. So, oh my so God. Attractive. Oh Beautiful. my God, when his face one has of, got the lights one on of it, the most, he's like in awe. And I, it's like, oh, his face is so I fucking have, beautiful. Jesus, God. Yeah. Beautiful face. Jesus, God. I, Beautiful face in space. Oh I'd, my, oh, face in space, baby. <laughs> face in space. I definitely like Googled him a time or 20. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Let me see. I feel oh, like, hi. oh, so beautiful. God, Hello. what a beautiful man. I so honestly Hal feel like Hal gets great. a bad rap. Yeah. Like, it's not Hal's fault. No. It's not Hal's fault. It's not Hal's fault. And I love Hal's voice. I love the sound yeah. of Hal's yeah. voice. It's soothing. Yeah, it's not That's Hal's a good fault. One. Yeah, it's not. 85, Cure Delia is still cute. I'm going to, like. I love a jaw like that. I'm also mm-hmm. probably never going to, like, argue against a robot because I know better. God. Sorry, I'm still over here. <laughs> I'm in Cure land. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here he is shirtless. Okay, moving on. Find what a new one. That? No, you can't look in. That's the thing. You cannot. Like, not allowed to. Oh, no, no, you can't. Oh. No, that's okay. cheating. That's cheating. I totally cheated with Hal 9000 because oh, that's okay. I really wanted that okay. one to be the no, one. I love no. Hal. Okay. I'm pro Hal. Bag is random. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I pulled this one out. Crow from MST3K. Oh, oh I mean, yes. all of them from MST3K. Yes. Yeah. I, speaking I, of like weird oh, shit, I watched alone yes. during junior oh, high yeah. in my bedroom. Yeah. I would definitely say of of the bots, Crow is the hotter. Like, I would Crow agree. is the bender. <laughs> True. True. Crow is the bender. Crow is the bender. Yes. Yes. Um, Although I love when Tom Servo flies up. Tom Servo. Tom Servo is your your buddy. True. That's but true. But Crow is your like Crow's boyfriend. Your, yeah. 
Crow, Crow would <laughs> the boyfriend that your friends are like, why is she going out with? Crow would put like a leather jacket around <laughs> yeah, like his I shoulders. Like I him when he eats in. me out, and he yeah. never stops. Yeah. He never <laughs> stops. Crow, Tom Servo it's does more of not like a pecking, I suppose. <laughs> Crow, Tom Servo does not eat a tootie. <laughs> Mm. No, he can't. He can't. No, he can't. Not with that tiny beak. No, he really can't. All right. That weird beak. Oh, my God. Next one. Okay. The more we tear through, the more we can do a bag. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. I've it's got more like fun three. when you don't know, huh? I've got three. Oh, okay. Uh, Agatha from Minority Report. She's one of the precogs. Oh. Samantha Morton. Samantha Morton. Oh. Um, I'm going to have to abstain. Yeah. I don't I'm know. not really. I don't, I've never saw Minority Report. That's lo- Will Smith. No, Tom that's Cruise. Tom Cruise. Oh. I thought that was an excellent movie. I loved that movie. I reference Minority Report constantly <laughs> because I feel like... I the, love that about you. I, <laughs> I literally talked about it. I shit you not. I had my performance review today and I mentioned <laughs> Minority <laughs> Report. <laughs> what about Minority Report did you mention? Because you know how when he does the computer with his arms, oh, yeah. I have horrible ADD. And so I like reference Minority Report <laughs> and A Beautiful Mind a lot to explain my like work behavior. <laughs> And I'm like, y'all gotta. That's helpful. Yeah. And I'm yeah, like, get it out of the way. Yeah. Bring the other yes. thing yeah. in. Yes. Open it up. Twist I it. I do. <laughs> I do. I do it with my arms. So I like literally was like, it's like me. I'm like Tom Cruise in Minority Report. I'm just yeah. like, okay, we got this thing over here. We do it. We get out of the way. And I'm like, I just need time to like a beautiful mind, whiteboard this thing, leave me alone. Yes. I need to focus. If anyone walks in this room, I need attention and I will immediately stop working. <laughs> like, so anyway. Yeah. Uh, I, w- I love that movie. Yeah. Samantha Morton, me. Whatever. Is Samantha Morton in that Emma adaptation she's I like? Probably. Samantha Morton's know. a devastatingly good actress. Yes, she's very, very, very Jesus good Jesus' son, that movie. Remember, she broke my heart. Oh, here's an obvious one. This is from my Ob's Hotties list. My personal Ob's Hotties list. Yeah. Eon Flux. Oh. <gasps> oh. Of course. Man, Eon Flux, like, it, was, it, like, it scared me. Yeah, it's scary because it's so dark. It was yeah. We didn't have MTV in yeah, that era. I just saw like flies and eyelashes, and I was like, "That's scary." Mm-hmm. I just that's remember being like titillated. And uh, oh yeah, because she's barely wearing she's any clothes. she's barely wearing any clothes. She's very booby. And then who was it? Charlize Theron. Sure, it was yeah. Charlize Theron. Which in the live action that came out like eight years like, after nobody. the cartoon. Like so I don't know why that even happened in the uh, first place. Anyway, no. She reminds me of a different character that I care about more that I feel like could be in the bag. I don't know. I really like the anime Cowboy Bebop. Oh, yeah. Cowboy Bebop was good. She reminds, Bebop she was reminds good. me of Faye. Cowboy Bebop is really good. Like, those are the hot. Like, I, I, yeah, I think I've already talked about Have we talked about, about Cowboy I think I have. It might be in the bag. I don't know. With Spike? Spike Spiegel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the mm, mm, hottest. Yeah, it might be in the bag. Yeah. It was, it was, I think it was on my list. Anyway. Anyway. I'm playing it anyway. Nibbler from Future. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I love Nibbler, of course. And yeah, Nibbler has a Nibbler. very deep voice too. Uh, Nibbler, yeah. yeah. I mean, sure, why not? <sighs> Nibbler A is cute, and B is I'm I'm kind of generally into like I want my pets to talk to me and have missions for me. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. It's like Ashley. I want I like I want my dog to just turn to me. It's like Ashley, are you ready? And I'll be like, absolutely. Like let's do like let's roll. Like I, think, I don't know. I think the thing about Nibbler that we need to recall: adult diaper play. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Nibbler yeah. is wearing a. a is it because his poop was it's like his, poop is like the fuel, <laughs> the fuel for the ship? Yeah, it's like pure. <laughs> and it was extremely heavy. No one can lift it. It's here's like a, a, ten thousand tons. A nibbler drinking a margarita. <laughs> He's wearing a cape too. I feel like cape and diaper is a good look. Yeah. I also love that he doesn't speak for like three seasons. <laughs> I know. And, <laughs> and then there's this whole and then. <laughs> and he's there at the beginning. They like retcon the pilot episode. Uh, <laughs> oh, Nibbler this, pushed him in. This yeah. is why I can't. Oh my god, that's great. Oh, this wow. is why I can't have sex with Nibbler because someone dressed their Boston Terrier, and it's exactly <laughs> accurate. It looks really good. That's the only. That's a reason. very sexy Terrier. That's the only reason I can't. Nibbler kind of sounds like Rod Serling, though. <gasps> Ooh, who did his speaking voice? We'll find is out. That I'll Google Tom it. Kenny. No, he it's was can dead. only Rod Sterling was dead by the time only four Futurama people. <laughs> right. It was Hank Azaria. It wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Um all right. Should we do one more? Yeah. Frank Welker. Duh. Okay. <laughs> Duh. What's that is like I know okay. a lot about his career. Oh, this is, well. 
Rick Deckard from Blade Runner. Uh, Let's oh, end it here. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Perfect one to end it on. Uh, we just watched Blade Runner at home like this past two weeks. One of uh, my favorite movies. Very hot. I mean, controversial opinion for me to say that Harrison Ford is a handsome man, I think. <laughs> I mean, but I'm going to go ahead and make that Harrison statement. Ford. Make that call. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say this could be controversial to some. He is the hottest Harrison Ford in Blade Runner. Like, hotter than Han Solo, yeah. hotter than Indiana Jones. Did you, have you I seen agree. Witness? Oh, he's very hot in Witness. He's very hot in Witness. Witness is just hot. There's, like, forbidden shit. Everything about yeah. Witness is hot. But just also everything about Blade Runner. Everything, everything about Blade is Runner hot. is hot. Yeah. Everyone in Blade Runner is hot. She Sean Young. So Sean Young. Good. Daryl Hannah? He Ooh. looks so good. He does. Um, and he's always, like, Rutger sweating Howard. a little bit. God. Yeah. And he's, like kind of a loser like he's not I love that you you cast someone that looks that attractive and then he just gets the shit beaten out like uh, uh, ugh 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 God, he's so hot. I did not Such watch a, the new one. I didn't see I did, it. I did, and yeah. I liked it. I did, too. I liked it. Um, mm-hmm. I also really like Ryan Gosling. I think he's also an excellent actor. I think he's an excellent actor. Um, he's very cute. He yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. just... Harrison Ford, though. Like, and there's, Harrison but Ford honestly, still it doesn't attractive. even compare. That it Harrison, doesn't even compare. That... I don't feel like there is any top of his game actor. I don't feel like any of the Chris's. No current sex symbol can even touch 80s Harrison Ford. No. No. With his little bit of scar. Oh, oh. Jesus. Jamie, why'd you even say that? He has a fucking scar on his chin. Look at that. His nose. That's a man's face. That's a man's face. I I will say (laughs) I 100% prefer Rick Deckard to Han Solo. Yes. Oh, 100%. 100%. I don't even. He's a. He's a. Yeah. He's a. A uh, more complex character, obviously, yes. and he's way sadder. Way sadder. <laughs> well, yeah. Which, as we all know, is the sexiest I mean, so possible. Sexy, the thing right? that yeah. I love, why is it? Why is sadness I mean, so sexy? The thing that I love about Blade Runner you is that fix it. Is you want to make him happy. Oh, and I will sex. say that the, the, the thing. Yeah, I want to fix it with sex. I know. The thing that I Let's talk about. like <laughs> more about the old Blade Runner more than about the new one is mm-hmm. that I feel like we learned a little too much about like the motivation of Ryan Gosling's character whereas yeah. Rick Deckard it's like you don't exactly know all the layers to why he's yeah. so fucked up yeah. like you, you like Harrison Ford just plays it so well like you just know like the answer could be like look it. at where I live right. you know what I mean it like, could be yeah. I'm wet constantly exactly. and trash is everywhere yeah. <laughs> Everything like, smells bad here. Yeah. Everything smells bad. I'm chasing eyeball goop dudes <laughs> and weird dolls. Right, right. Rudger mm-hmm. Hauer and his cute panties are trying to beat me up and rip my head off. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know. Mm. God, he's Tears so in the rain. Hot. He Tears was in the rain. He was definitely on my Ob's hotties list. Like with, I mean, I was like, I don't need to talk about Mulder and Scully. No. Everyone no, knows no, Mulder yeah. and Scully are hot. I mean, but like, but I feel like people have forgotten about Rick Deckard yes. as a part of the Harrison Ford canon. You oh, know what yeah. I, mean? I think that's completely fair because there's, especially in the past, oh, what, 20 years, there's been such a heavy, heavy Star Wars focus yes. Yes. that... <sighs> so, whatever. Just, and they made whatever. a fourth Indiana Jones before yes. they went back to Blade Runner. I forgot right. about that. That movie so Where is the oh Witness God. sequel is what I want to know. <sighs> Lucas Haas... <laughs> Harrison Ford. Oh, who was the? Who was, was the it? Kelly Gill. Oh, Kel- Kelly McGillis. McGillis. Kelly McGillis. Her she was life, beautiful. Her mm-hmm. life went in a weird direction. Well, Ugh, that'll happen. I will say there is that oh, scene hi. coming up in Blade Runner from this photo that gets a, a little weird consent, but you know, well, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. We're all feminists here. I think here. you just explain like third wave feminism right there. Oh, look at, what? Look at the it was weird, but it was fun. But, but they're AI. <laughs> she didn't know no better. That's how they were pro dad built her. <laughs> um, oh. All right. Uh, this, has been this has been hot minute. This has been hot minute. That was great. Yeah. Uh, at hot minute. H O T T minute. Larissa, thank you, thank Larissa. You. Oh, my God. This has thank been you, the thank best. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. This is super fun. I love Yay. you guys so much. Follow us online. Listen to Polly. Uh, yeah. Go masturbate to science fiction. <laughs> do, do whatever you want to do. Do it. Do whatever you want to do. <laughs> Eat a duty. Uh. <laughs> Get berated by your woman and pretend that you are a robot. Wear a diaper. <laughs> Wear a diaper.
I just get really pissy when super famous well, rich people get to do whatever the fuck they want on television because yes. I feel like I deserve that. Yes, yes. No, me too. And I also like, watched it and I was...